calculating signal to noise ratio in this example I'm going to show you how to calculate signal to noise ratio in Taguchi design um, using the smaller is the better um, equation it's going to be the same for the uh, larger is the better or the against some kind of target value so this is the equation for the target value let me copy that right there so you can see all of them together and then this one is the larger is the better example so right here so I will show you the one with the um, uh, smaller is the better so I will just take this two away so this is the equation for a smaller is the better so I need y square so I can just simply do this times this that's y square and then I can copy all of this here copy down and then I need to write this equation right here so I can say equal to minus 10 times uh, log then sum of all of that y square sum of these close the parenthesis divide by n which is 4 in this case and then so that's the signal to noise ratio for each of these combinations now for only for these um, different factor levels for example this internal factor a i1 which was a which was the thread per square um, inch tpi of the tire i think our variable 2 was b was rubber quality the internal variable uh, rubber quality and then variable 3 was the rubber construction so he, the construction of the tire so here the at low level so I can so this is the low level so I'm gonna add the average of this would be the low level so just let me do the average average of these um, four low level signal to and then I can just drag it down and then change it to the high level so this is the high level because this is the high level of um, internal variable one so then this one is the average of the low level of B so low level of B would be uh, this comma this comma and then this one also low level of B this one also low level of B and then simply then I'm gonna drag and basically adjust that so the high level of B is this one, this one, this one, and this one. And for the low level of um, variable 3, average of, so this is the low level, comma, this is the low level of C, comma, uh, low level of, uh, that's the low level of that internal variable 3 that's another one and then you can just copy down this thing will be automatically adjusted so this is the signal to noise ratio now let's calculate the difference I want the absolute value for the comparison so I'm just gonna do this minus this we could in fact have high minus low so we can kind of compare but absolute would be fine too. Well, without absolute would be fine as well. So in this case, let me just have the absolute. It will be easy to explain. You could do either way. You could do absolute. You could do not absolute. Doesn't matter. In the rank, there is a function in Excel in rank. So you can type that rank. And you want to find out rank for this number and then comma out of these three and I will have to freeze that because when I will move this I don't want them to move these three
comma, 0, I want descending order. So if you just copy this um, uh, with my, uh, right, so here we go. So this is how we calculate noise to ratio differences, sorry, signal to noise ratio differences and the rank of the levels.